Can you see that? It's not going anywhere. Hey girl, welcome to Brie Lane. <laughs> Today we're gonna go over my favorite TikTok hair hacks of 2023 in honor of the year almost being over and also me getting my blonde touched up and finally getting layers after like nine years of having the same haircut. <laughs> first one was the one that I'm pretty sure was my most viral video. TikTok was trying this out for the first time. So this is a fun way to do a rope braid or if you have a hard time doing a rope braid. You, so you divide your hair in half, twist one section. Gotta make sure especially at the top you do it pretty tight or else it doesn't work very well. Clip this section like on your shirt or like stick it in your mouth. I'm gonna stick it in mouth because I don't. Don't care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tie it off. Let go. There's twist braid. You can do this with as many sections as you want to. So you could divide it into three, just twist all of them and then tie it off. Or five. I think I've done up to eight. And it just looks more detailed the more sections you do. I'm also gonna be talking about a few products that involve hacks or that I think are like life hacks. Like the invention of it is a life hack. Okay, the next one, I don't know what the heck I did with it. I'll just play the video right here so you can see. It's these claw clips that are indestructible, and by indestructible mean I jumped on them, I've thrown full on super heavy uh, stepping stone on them, I've just thrown them across the driveway. Like, I've done everything. It's just fine. It literally is the most sturdy but flexible clock clip on the planet. I just feel like you need to know about it because it is it's, it's life-changing. Next is a hack if you don't have a hair tie on you but you want to do a braid. This works for little baby braids and also for full-size braids. So you're just going to do a braid like normal. And once you get about halfway down, instead of when you're braiding like normal, you know how like you'll go all the way down to separate the piece or you maybe you'll pull it out to the side to separate the piece. Instead of doing that, you're going to just kind of fold the braid so the piece is stay together and they don't separate to kind of get tangled in each other once you get to the bottom you're gonna this little tail will be formed because the braid kind of went on top of itself and take this little hole right here that's kind of formed you're gonna take the ends pull it through the little hole and pull on it a little bit and then you have a braid without a hair tie look at that and it's sturdy like can you see that it's not going anywhere. So you can do this with like micro braids, an accent braid, anything really. And then to take it out, you just pull on one of the sections and it'll come out of the loop. And then pull on the other section out of the loop. And then there might be like a little snag or something. Just detangle it a little bit and it'll be fine. But it depends on how messy your hair is when you do it. This one, I'm so excited about because it, it literally changed my life and saved me so much time. It's how to do a facial braid like 10 times faster. You're gonna divide your hair in half like normal. This each side, face your knuckles. So it's like giving yourself a fist bump, okay? Take your pointer fingers and dig them on the outside of each strand just a little bit like that create the, the little hole just like that and then you're just gonna flip your wrists and then use your thumbs to reach over and grab those little sections this is technically a reverse fish shell braid so i know once you get the hang of it oh it goes by so much faster than doing it any other way and my hair's already tangled again even though i just brushed it Love. so I'll do it one more time now that it's a little bit down you're gonna grab your sections this one point your fingers dig them in on the edges a little bit create the little hole flip and grab the section and bring it across with your thumbs. I wish you could do this with French fish shells, but that's a little bit more difficult. And then you have a fish shell braid so much faster. It's so amazing. And you could do bigger sections or little sections, no matter what, it's still gonna be a lot faster. Okay, next few are ponytail hacks. So if you love a good slick back ponytail, but you have some areas that are a little bit thinner when you pull your hair back, this, oh my goodness. Okay, it's definitely not perfect actually, it's like horrible, but that's okay. We're gonna just focus on this part right here. <laughs> See all these kind of like awkward spots I have right here where it's like, uh -huh. you're gonna take a brow pencil that's super thin. So like this one's the Kosas brow pencil. Top Nano. This one's kind of expensive to do this. So I would either do the Maybelline skinny one or the L'Oreal skinny one. Those would be really good options. But you're just going to fill it in like you fill in your eyebrows. <laughs> and just create little baby strokes. See, yeah, I already look so much better. Because they're so thin. As long as you have the right color pencil, it's worse on this side. Hold on. And you can go as subtle or as crazy as you want. So much better. Yeah, you can go as crazy as you want. I didn't go too crazy, but next ponytail hack is to also fake more hair than you actually have. So this is a super easy way to get more volume in your ponytail, like the little perky part if you do high ponytails. I'm gonna flip my head over. Whew. Again, it's not gonna be a perfect ponytail. We're just, just trying to help you get the picture. <laughs> I haven't done this with a scrunchie before. It doesn't work with a scrunchie, although it was a normal high back. I wanna try it with a scrunchie. All you do is put your hair in a ponytail like you normally would. And then when you can feel it's on the last wrap, you're just gonna take your finger and kind of weave it through the, not quite halfway, like fourth of the way through the top of your ponytail and only tie off that part. Like that. I don't think it's gonna work with a uh, scrunchie as much. Well, kind of does. Giving um kind of like genie bottle vibes, but it gives you so much more volume. If you're uh, people seeing that little gap, depending on how thick or thin your hair is, you can use a normal hair tie <laughs> and take a section from underneath and wrap it around the hair tie, and that will disguise it for sure. And then you get so much more volume without teasing, hairspray, all that stuff, and it just takes two seconds. Just to give you an idea, I will finish pulling my hair through the ponytail so you can see. Look at that. You can't even see my ponytail. <laughs> this scrunchie's 
covering it up too much. But there's so much volume when you do it that way. Oh, I have like press on nails and they're starting to get towards the end of their life. This one already fell off. But hair starting to like get underneath. You know what I'm talking about when hair starts to get caught in those nails? Oh, and it's pain. They're so sad. They're so freaking cute. Okay, this is the thing. Oh, so excited about. So if you've ever seen those little like curler headbands on TikTok, Instagram, wherever, and you're like, I hate them, you're not using the right one. And you're also, you're probably doing it wrong. The trick is to have this kind. See how limp it is? It's like a little wet noodle compared to the other kind that you get off of Amazon where they're like this. They're super stiff. And like when you're putting them in, you're like fighting it being stiff and they, they just want to go like this. This one is super duper soft, flexible, squishy. They, it feels so much better than the ones that, that you get on Amazon and they work a lot better. One, you're not fighting against them and two, the way your si hair sits with it is just better. So I have two hacks for this. The first one is how you part your hair. Even if you do a middle part, side part, doesn't matter. You're going to do a zigzag part. Editing him right here. Um, I just realized that the part of me explaining what that hack does didn't record. So basically what it does is makes it so you have so much more volume, like it's a night and day difference. And also you don't get any weird like lines of like where you directly picked up the pieces um, when you're adding sections into the curler. Just to make sure my front pieces are facing away from my face, I will take just these little baby pieces like right here. Just like that. Just to make sure I have some facing away from my face. If you don't care, then just don't do that. You don't have to worry about it. But then from that point, you're going to create a zigzag part and it's going to give you so much freaking volume. So just from one side to the other. If your hair's tinkled, it's not gonna work as well. And before anyone tells me to brush my hair, I just did. I just walked around the house room in it and then it got all undone. It doesn't have to be perfect. The idea is to switch the sides back and forth. So you don't need like completely straight lines or it to be completely even. And you wanna do that all the way until you run out of hair like at the nape of your neck. So it just looks something like this. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And the other, okay, then this hack also has to do with this curler. I'm sure you've seen lots of tutorials. People take a piece at the front, wrap it around, take another piece at the front, wrap it around, and then you go all the way down until you have to like start reaching back and grabbing hair until you run out of hair but then you really don't have any curls in the back like all the curls are in front so to fix that and also make it so your curls go in opposite directions throughout your hairstyle you take a section in the front but then you're also going to grab a section in the back do two sections you're going to cross them over each other and then under each other and that is one pass okay then you add hair from back onto the back section add hair from front onto the front section and then you do that again over each other and under each other that will make your curls a little bit tighter too so if you don't want super tight curls grab bigger sections and if you want tighter curls grab smaller sections this also locks the headband the little red ribbon whatever you want to call it into place more it's not going to slide around nearly as much because it doesn't really have anywhere to go and then when you run out of hair you just cross it and I did these curls the other day and this is how they turned out. I love hair hacks so much but if you're more of a makeup hack girl you can check out this video where I go over my top favorite makeup hacks of 2023. I will link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links so I do get a small percent of the profits if you use my link to buy the product but it's not affected in any way. I love you so much and don't forget that you are enough. Bye!